Hello and welcome. I am Joe Crazy, and today I will be guiding you through your first time setup of HeroScape Online. HeroScape Online is completely free for anyone to play. It is a top down digital representation of the board game. You can play with your friends or even join tournaments through HeroScapers.com. HeroScape Online still requires you to learn the game and will not teach you how to play. So if this is your first exposure to HeroScape, then welcome to the battle of all time. Check out the description below for all the links to the rules. To get started, you're going to need two links, the HeroScape Online app link, as well as the Google Doc link, both found in the description below. A Google email is required to gain access to the Google Doc, so you can find the maps and figures that are necessary to play. This is the HeroScape Online application. There are a few key items on this page that will help you get into your first match. A name, game name, and a Google Doc string. The name or player name is what you and your opponent will see when entering the match. The game name is used to either create or join a match. If you're creating a brand new match, leave this section blank. But if you're joining a match to play with a friend, later in the video I'll show you where to find that information so you can share that code with your friends. As well as the Google Doc string. This section is for the map that we will be playing on. Now using the Google Doc link in the description below, we are able to access the maps and figures. But in order to create a brand new match, we are going to need a map. Once we click on maps, you will see a long list of folders. Please feel free to check out all the content here. For today's example, I will head over to the folder ARV Maps. These are a list of competitive maps from the Architects Realms of Valhalla group on Heroescapers.com. These are also great beginner maps to play on. Let's take a look at Grounds of Ashra. Once I've clicked on the map, it will open a new document. Before I can grab the Google Doc string that we need, there's a few steps to make this map HeroScape Online ready. First, make a copy by clicking on File in the top left corner, then hit Make a Copy. A dialog box will pop up. Press OK. Now that we have a copy, in the top right corner, click on the Share button. Another dialog box will pop up. Head to the Get Link section and press the Change to Anyone with the Link hyperlink text. We will want to change this link from Viewer to Editor. By changing the permissions to Editor, this will allow you and your opponent to manipulate the board and figures. The link is now created and all we need is the string shown here. All the text between these two slashes after the letter D and before the word edit. Hit Control C on the keyboard to copy and head back to the HeroScape Online app. You can now paste the Google string into the box by pressing the Control V on your keyboard. Make sure that your player name is filled in as well and click enter to create a brand new match. Well done, you have successfully created a brand new match. Now let's get your opponent in here. For anyone else that will want to join the match, they will also need the Google string you just used as well as the game name, which is found on the top of the HeroScape app after you created the match, in addition to their player name. Click enter and now everyone is in the game. Now let's grab our armies. Opening back up the Google Doc and clicking on the figures folder. We have two folders. One for official HeroScape figures, and one for custom HeroScape figures. Check out HeroScapers.com for a list of customs that the community has added to the game. For this demo, I will be using official units only. For my army, I'm going to need some Maru drones. So let's go into the Ukar Squads folder. To select your units, you can either left click, hold, and drag over the figures, or hold control on the keyboard and left click on each figure individually. The only way to bring these figures to our match is to use the keyboard commands and use our shortcuts 
Control C and Control V. So press Control C to copy and head back to the match. Hit Control V to paste your units. My army requires three Marrow Drone squads. So I'm going to hit Control V two more times. This process is exactly the same as for the squads. I'm going to head over to the Ukar Heroes folder and grab two heroes, the Hive and Subakna. Just like before, I'm going to select both my heroes and then hit Control C. Now, back at the Heroescape app page, hit Control V to paste them into the game. Excellent. We have our armies, we're in the game, but before we start playing, let's go over the online Heroescape app. This is the chat menu, where by chance, if you're not using Google Hangout or Discord to communicate verbally, you can use this chat menu to text message between you and your opponent. But most importantly, this chat menu will showcase all the information that happens during the game. This includes all the dice rolls and order marker information. The dice tools section will allow you to generate virtual rolling of dice for attacking, defending, and for any reason you need to use the D20. If you need access to Valkyrie dice, you may check this box. This will change all the attack and defense dice into Valkyrie dice rolls. Each box number represents the amount of dice you're rolling for that attack or defense. The order marker management section is, well, for your order markers. By filling in these slots here, you're essentially putting in your Heroescape cards order markers for the 1, 2, 3, and X. This will set up all your order markers for the round that you'll be playing. Once you and your opponent have filled this out, hit Submit. This will notify the chat menu, and you can see when you and your opponent are ready. Now, let's roll for initiative. Clicking on this button here, this will reveal your order markers and roll for initiative. This d20 roll is done automatically. Once we know who won initiative, you and your opponent can start taking your turns and begin the game. There's a few more things I want to mention to make your games fun and fair for everyone. You can fill out these wound boxes, which are color-coded to each of the start zones. Make sure to fill these out with the names of your heroes, as well as the life number on the right. Then, when your hero receives a wound, you can add said wounds to show your opponent how much damage they have done, as well as to easily see how much of your hero has left. The numbers on the map represent which height level the terrain is at. This will help you with figure movement and height advantage. If by chance you don't have physical cards or reference images on your computer, you can use battleplan.com to create your armies and have access to reference cards for when you're playing the game. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the content today, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this content, Make sure you like it and share it with all your friends. And if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Heroescape content. But don't forget, I am not crazy. I'm Joe Crazy. Peace.